Welcome back. In this video, I'd like to show you around my membership site, JK Math Plus, that you can join to get more from me and this YouTube channel. This includes access to bonus content, an exclusive community, and a few more perks that I will go over in just a little bit. So if you like my content here at JK Math and you want access to more helpful resources as you continue to study different math courses, then I would highly encourage you to become a member. But first, let me show you around the membership site so that you can see all that is included. Once you join, you'll most likely start on this page here, which is the home page for all of the exclusive bonus content you'll be able to get here anytime Time by logging in through my website once you are a member. You'll have your own account and login information that you will get to set up. And on this homepage, you can see all the different categories of bonus content that is only available here and not on my YouTube channel. And then you can also see there is this sidebar with some other things that I will talk about later, including the community aspect of the membership site, which is probably the most exciting part. And so you're going to want to stick around for when I show you that. But I want to start by looking at the exclusive content. And there are two main categories. There are dark mode versions of my videos, and then there are bonus videos. The dark mode videos are the same videos that you can find on my YouTube channel, but the colors have been inverted. And that is what you will find in the first four modules here. There's one for each of the four courses that I have covered so far on my YouTube channel, that being Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Calculus 3, and Financial Mathematics. And essentially all dark mode means is that instead of having a white background with primarily black writing, like all my videos usually have, in these videos, the colors have been inverted. So they will have a black background with primarily white writing. Now, if you want to actually watch a video, you can click on one of these four modules. Let's take a look at Calculus 1 here. Inside, you'll find all of my Calculus 1 lesson and examples videos, but obviously in a dark mode format. Down here, you can look at all the different pages of Calculus 1 lesson and examples videos, all the way up to the last page where we have lesson 55. There it is, and its examples video. Now, if you wanna watch a video, you can simply click on it, and that will take you to the video player. And then on the side of the video player, it kind of looks like a YouTube playlist. All of the other videos in this module are listed here for you to look through and click on and watch in any order, although they are listed in the order that you are intended to watch them in from lesson one to lesson 55. But then back over here, as I've said, this is the video player. So you can go down and press the play button if you wanna watch the video. I'll do that here, but I'm gonna pause it right away so I don't have to talk over myself. But as you can see, the video is clearly in a dark mode format. The background is black and the writing is primarily white and the colors all look a little bit different as compared to my original YouTube video. But if you wanna skip ahead in the video or fast forward, you can go down here to the little scrubber and click a different part of the video that you wanna watch, just like you would on YouTube. Over here, you can adjust the volume, and then there's some other settings here, such as the speed. You can put it to two times speed if you'd like, or even 0.5 speed. I don't know why you do that, but that's an option. You can also adjust the quality of the video. All of my videos should be in 1080p, but if for some reason they're not, you can change that here and fix it to make sure that it is in the best quality available. Also, besides those settings, you can use what is called AirPlay. I've never really tested this feature, but that is something that is also available to you. And then of course, you can watch the videos in full screen with this button. Now, if we go below the video, you can see that there's this button that says mark as complete. If you click that, what it does is it lets the membership site know that you have watched this video and you're ready to move on to the next one. Something that's really nice about the membership site is that you can track your progress as you watch through my different math courses. You can clearly see which videos you have watched and which videos you have yet to watch. But then if we go over here, you can see there are downloads. This is where I'll put any PDFs or any other files I think you might wanna download that tie in with the specific video that you're watching. So in this case, I have the worksheet for lesson 55 of my Calculus 1 series. That's what you would find for all of my Calculus 1 videos is the worksheet that ties in with that specific video. And the same thing is true for financial mathematics because those are the two courses that I made worksheets for. They're the same worksheets that you can download for free off my website, but I also have them listed here for convenience. All right, but now if we go further below the video, you can see the video title along with the description that I've taken right out from the description of my YouTube videos, but I just cut out all the links and everything else that you don't really need. So you can read what the video is about and what you're going to learn. And then I also have the video chapters, which unfortunately, unlike on YouTube, the video chapters do not show up along the little scrubber 
for the video player, but hopefully that's not too much of an issue as you're most likely going to watch the video from beginning to end anyway. But if you do need to skip ahead to a particular part, you can see exactly where it begins with these timestamps that are tied to the major topics of the video and any example problems. Okay, but then if we go further down, I just have this little disclaimer here to let you know that if I make references to any colors in the videos, they're probably wrong because I did invert the colors. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then if we go even further down, there is a comment section on each individual video on the membership site, just like you would expect to see on YouTube. And so you can post any questions or feedback that you may have about the video that you're watching. And since you're posting it on the membership site, it's guaranteed to get a response from me within a reasonable amount of time. Okay, I will always prioritize comments here on the membership site over YouTube comments. And so that's what you can expect to see on the page of every video on the membership site. But now if we go back to the modules, let's go back to the main content here. We could go through all the same stuff for Calculus 2, Calculus 3, and Financial Mathematics. I'll just show you all three of these really quick. You can go into Calc 2 here, and there's all the Calculus 2 lesson and examples videos, but in a dark mode format. Again, you can go through all these different pages all the way up to the last lesson, which I believe is lesson 52. Okay, and then we can go back again and head on over to Calculus 3. And you can see all the lesson and examples videos for Calculus 3 that I currently have. This is the course I'm working on right now as I'm recording this video. So this is not completed yet, but you can go all the way out to the most recent lesson that I have posted, which is lesson 18. Which by the way, another perk of the membership site is that when I do make new videos, such as when I make new Calculus 3 lessons and examples videos, those videos will be available here on the membership site first before they are ever posted to YouTube. If you were a member of JK Math Plus, you get early access to any new YouTube videos that I make. Most of them will be available here first in a dark mode format, but regardless, they will be available here before I make them public on YouTube. Oftentimes when I post videos to YouTube, they are scheduled. I'm not posting them the day that I finish them. Sometimes I finish a video hours or days or sometimes even weeks before they are made public on YouTube. But the moment that I do finish them, they will be available here on the membership site. So if you are a member, you get to see my new videos first before anybody else. Okay, and then finally, let's look at financial mathematics real quick. And here are all the lesson and examples videos, including all of the unit review videos and the final exam review video. I did have to split it up into several parts, as you can see here. Each part only includes three examples. That's just because the membership site has a limit on how large the file size can be that I upload. And my final exam review video was three hours long, so it was way above the file size limit, so I had to split it up. But all the videos for financial mathematics can be found here. Okay, but then if we go back to the home page for the content, after the dark mode modules are the bonus content modules for Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, and Financial Mathematics. And in each of these modules, you will find extra examples, cut content from my videos on YouTube. Sometimes I cut out examples to make the video shorter. All those examples that I've cut out, you can find in these bonus content modules. And sometimes I have some mini lessons as well on some minor topics that I didn't really talk about in my videos on YouTube. So if we go to the Calculus 1 bonus content module here, you can see I have some bonus content for intro to limits, evaluating limits, including a mini lesson on the squeeze theorem. And then, I mean, there's a lot of content in here. I could keep scrolling for a while but these are all individual videos that feature at least one example or one concept. Most of these videos are shorter than my videos on YouTube because they do just feature one or two examples, but there are a lot to pick from here. Okay, if we go back up, let's go to another bonus content section. I'll go to the Calc 2 bonus content. Once again, you can see that I have more bonus content with more examples. I have an example for area between two curves, partial fractions, L'Hopital's rule, there's three of those, and even more, I believe there is a lot when it comes to polar coordinates and graphing polar equations because there was a lot of examples I had to cut out of those videos because of how long some of them took to go through. So there's a lot of good stuff in here that you can watch for Calculus 2. And then for Calculus 3, there's not so much cut content, 
but rather a lot of extra examples that I have recorded with the purpose of them being on the membership site. All right, so these examples were recorded specifically to be here exclusively. So there's a lot of good stuff here. I've got a mini lesson on visualizing the eight octants of the 3D coordinate system. I've got some more trickier problems involving unit vectors. These are like word problems that involve pictures. So those are pretty fun. And then I've got a lot of other stuff for all of the lessons that I've covered so far. Okay, so there's a lot of extra problems in here to help you with Calculus 3. And then finally, let's look at the financial mathematics bonus content. I've got all the extra problems for all the unit reviews, as well as the final exam review that's at the bottom. And of course, there's other extra examples for specific topics throughout here as well. All right, so you can see all those extra videos all the way down to the final exam review, which is 15 extra problems that are not included in the YouTube video. All right, so that's like another three hours of final exam review problems. All right, but then if we go back to the homepage, there are two more modules. These are very minor modules. This is the module for my quick solves videos, but in dark mode, if you've ever noticed, I do have a playlist on YouTube for my one-off videos that I call quick solves, where I just solve a singular problem in its entirety. Typically they are from calculus one or calculus two topics. So all of those videos are here as well. And then that final module is just miscellaneous content. If you click on this, I've got my BA2 plus financial calculator video here that you can watch. Just like the final exam review video, I had to split it up into several parts because the file size was too large. And then I've got my financial mathematics standalone videos down here as well. Those are not in dark mode. They're just the regular videos that you would find on YouTube. Okay, but then if we go back to the homepage, that is all of the exclusive bonus content for the membership site. But now if we go to the sidebar here, there's a couple more things for us to look at. First up, every time you log in, you will be welcomed back to the membership site. If you click on this, you can see what's new in the membership site. I post announcements about two to three times a month about new content that I have added to the membership site. And so you can see here, I have pretty frequent updates and new content all of the time. I'm always adding new things. And so the value and the amount of bonus content is always increasing. All right, so you can see all of those updates there and read them if you'd like. You'll also get notifications about these announcements once you are a member. But then after that, I do want to talk about the community. But first, down here, I have a little advertisement for my tutoring. If you want to book multiple sessions of tutoring with me, you can click here to learn more about that. That's not really what this video is about. So I'm not going to go into any more detail about that. And then down here, as always, if you have any questions, you can just simply send me an email. But now let's talk about the community. If you click on this, you will go to the community, which looks like this. And you can think of the community as my version of a Facebook group or Discord. The first thing you see when you get in the community is this homepage, which tells you how to get started and make the most of the community. I'm not really going to go over any of that in this video because I'm going to show you what you can do in the community. All the fun stuff is in the sidebar here. If we scroll down, you can see all these different circles or essentially channels of the community where you can make posts and communicate with other members. First up is the open chat. This is where you can actually chat with other members of the community, including me. So you can really talk about anything. I'm expecting that it will be math related, but it does not need to be. There is also a channel for introducing yourself. If you're new to the membership site, you can introduce yourself to the community. I have a little format that you can follow to introduce yourself to the other members. There is also a channel where you can share your wins. So if you passed a really hard exam or you're proud of a grade that you got on a quiz, you can share that with the community in this circle and we can celebrate with you. Then after that are the four main channels of the community, which are the channels that correspond to the math courses I have covered. So that's financial mathematics, calculus one, calculus two, and calculus three. In these channels, what you can do, for example, I'll go to the financial mathematics one, you can make posts about financial mathematics and start discussions with other members, or you could ask a question about a particular topic that you were confused about, and me and other members can respond to those posts and try to help you out. Or you could also make posts about homework problems that you're struggling with, something that you would like to ask help for. Anything related to financial mathematics, you can post in this channel of the community. And the same would be true for Calculus 1. You could go in here and make a post about a homework problem in Calc 1 or something you need help with, something that you don't quite understand. 
And in each of these channels, I do have some example posts. So you can see kind of what I'm talking about, the type of posts that you will be able to make in here. And so you can see that for Calculus 1 and then for Calculus 2. Same thing, you can post any questions related to this course or any discussions that you want to start. And me and the other community members can chime in and help you out in any way that we can. Okay, and then finally, there's one more channel here for right now, and that is for video suggestions. So what you can do is post any specific problems or types of problems you would like to see me make videos for and post exclusively to the membership site. So maybe there's a particular problem you'd like to see me solve in a video or a topic that maybe I've already covered, but you want me to go a little bit deeper into it. Something like that, you can suggest different videos that you'd like to see me make in this channel. And I will pick at least one of those suggestions per month to make into a video and add to the membership site. Okay, so this is sort of the meat and potatoes of the community, right? This is the most important part of it. All these different channels and the ability to make posts and talk with other members. But there are some other things that you can do here. In the challenges tab, I can post little challenges for members to try. So maybe I'll put out a post with five different derivatives and I want to see who can solve them. So you would be able to enter in that challenge and then post a picture of your solutions. And then we can all discuss the answers and compare our work. Okay, that's just one example of what I could post, but from time to time I may post challenges that you can participate in to stay sharp on your different math skills. And then over here there are meetups. This is where we can have video calls between members. So if you want to start a call and study with another member, you can do that. And I can also schedule meetups myself where I can go live and answer questions from members of the community. Okay, and then probably my favorite feature is if you go over to the home tab here and click the down arrow, you can click on JK Math Plus here and right inside the window will be the bonus content of the membership site. So really you never have to leave the community. Everything is right here. So everything we just looked at earlier in the video is all right here. You can click on Calc 1 Dark Mode and start watching Calculus 1 videos right here in the community. And then if you have a question, you can go over to Calculus 1 post your question, and then the whole community can see it and help you out, okay? Obviously, you could still make comments on the specific videos, but if you want quicker responses from other members of the community, putting it in one of these channels is probably the way to go. All right, now one more thing. I'm currently showing you the community on a computer, but you can also access the community on a phone. And this is available on both iOS and Android, but I'm going to show you what it looks like on iOS. If you download this app, it's called Kajabi Communities. Kajabi is just my website hosting service. If you download this app and then open it, you will be able to log in to my community with the same login information that you used for the membership site. And then you can access all of the channels right here on your phone. You can go into one of the channels and make posts. You can comment on posts all within your phone, okay? So all of that is right here. You'll be able to find the challenges when I make them. You can do all the meetups here. Your notifications will be in here. And then if you go to the home tab, Right in here, you could also access all of the bonus content. So all of that is in here too. You can tap on Calculus 3 and then watch a video right here on your phone. So that is also a pretty cool feature of the membership site and community. And of course, if you just want to see the latest posts, you can go to the feed tab and see the latest posts that are being made in the community. All right, but with that, that's everything I wanted to show you on my membership site, JK Math Plus. Once again, let's go over everything that you get access to as a member. You'll have access to exclusive bonus content for all the courses that I cover. You'll have access to the community where you can make posts and have discussions with other members. You'll have access to dark mode versions of all of my videos for courses I've already covered and courses I will cover in the future. You'll have early access to new YouTube videos. Any new video that I post to YouTube will be available on the membership site first. And finally, this is kind of a big one, I didn't really mention it until now, but all of the videos on the membership site are 100% ad free. So if you find YouTube ads annoying and don't like interruptions, then don't worry, there are no ads on the membership site. And in addition, I've also removed any self-promotional segments from my videos as well. Okay, and so that's my membership site, JK Math Plus. Over time, there will be more and more content available exclusively here. And so if you're thinking about joining, feel free to head over to my website at jkmathematics.com plus, where you can choose to become a monthly or yearly member 
to gain access to all of the bonus content, the community, and all of the other perks for the membership site. All right, so that's all I had for now. So I hope to see you on the membership site.